We are here. Uh, we figured uh, it's a beautiful Saturday. We're going to run through some of the happenings at Grassroots Canine. I'll walk you through us working, uh, some of our working dogs in particular. There may be some pet dogs going on in the background, or there will be. Uh, but we're going to just run through from puppies all the way up to some of our more advanced dogs. And um, we're going to get right to it. So without further ado, let's get to work with some dogs. All right, lighting's messed up because I can't control where the sun is. We've got Zazu over here, potty breaking. Uh, but first thing we're going to do is go and do a little bit of tracking foundation stuff with our pups. Um, so we have pups that are about 14, 15 weeks old. Um, and pretty much what that includes is us just stomping out some grass and throwing some food in the ground um, or on the ground and they'll get to eat. So I'll bring you guys along for that. Our puppies are housed. This is our, our bunkie over here. So they whelp in here. They stay here until they are uh, are fully vaccinated. So they're not there yet. They got one more set of vaccinations to go. So I'm gonna grab uh, Gil first. We'll do some tracking uh, or tracking boxes and then we'll move on to the next. So I got my assistant Brielle here with us. Uh, what I'm gonna do is simply kind of just walk a line out that way and place some food down. Um, and then I'm gonna handle Gil and we'll get Brielle to film that. Um, but I'm just gonna try and do a simple little track for him. All right, so. I'll hoop him under his leg, first things first, and we'll let him go. So it's one of the routines that we'll do with the puppies. Um, we're trying to existentially feed them. So they'll be doing this, or they'll be being fed using a clicker. Obviously right now it doesn't resemble tracking as we would know what tracking is, uh, but it eventually will grow into be that point. We'll finish this, then we'll get on to our next dog. All right, so we'll do that with um, the other two puppies that we have from this litter here right now, and then we'll move on to our, our next activity. Uh, so stay tuned, let's go. All right, in between work and the dogs, this is what Allie's up to. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Hmm. Pretty cute. All righty. Hey, Mama. What are you doing with them? Oh, Mama Bear is over there. All right, next up, um, we're going to go grab Samuel. We're going to do some obedience with Samuel. Samuel uh, is a sold dog already. Um, he's going to be going to a, a special military unit. So um, doing some foundational stuff with him before he leaves. So go grab Samuel now. So this is Samuel. Uh, we're working on some obedience with him. Uh, he's not in any commands right now. Um, so we're going to work on kind of just his basic sits, his downs, uh, his heel position, as well as some, some recall uh, and a silent recall as well, or a dog whistle recall. So this is Sam. Sam, sit. Good man. Good. Down. So one of the the things with Sam is that he loves using his nose. He's a really good tracker. Um, so it's his big competing motivator in obedience is he wants to track all the time. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to actually cut him off leash. We're going to work a little bit on his, uh, his silent recall back to a front, um, but also not deterring how much he wants to get out and explore his environment because uh, for his job position, that's going to be pretty important for him. So break. All right, so we're going to work a little bit on that si that dog whistle, silent whistle recall. Yep. 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 Down. Good man. So everything is food based right now, um, existential. He can go do what he wants. As he ranges out a bit, I'm going to hit that dog whistle again on him um, and bring him back over. Good. Yes. So you can see he really likes using his nose. He's out exploring. He also wants to pee on stuff. Male dog behavior. Catch a mid pee. Yeah. 
Yes. Good. All right, so we're going to continue to work, Sam. Down. Good. Heel. Yes. Good, man. Good. Ow. Yes. It is, right? Heel. 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 Yes. All right. Up next, if you see out there, we got Guy Liam and Velvet, and they are tracking as well. So we're going to track a few of these dogs now. We'll get over closer. Okay. All right. So Guy's going to start off the track. We've already ran a few with Velvet right now. Um, he's put. He's walked the track as well. We call them Daddy Tracks. So Guy laid it. Um, these dogs are pretty friggin' spun up, as you can see in the, the back there. They're all over the place, but uh, so our, we have two of them. Uh, they're sisters, uh, German short hair pointers. So they're available as well to law enforcement. Um, but there they go. That's good. All right, so up now we have Kai. This is actually Kai's first time ever tracking. So we're going to see how it goes. Um, Kai is a pretty leaky, screamy German Shepherd. Um, it's why we like Malinois and Dutch Shepherds better here at Grassroots Canine. Uh, but this is Kai. Kai's actually a pretty nice dog. All right, so up next we have Dolph. Dolph um, is a young dog, just a little bit over a year, a big German, German, definitely not German, a uh, big Dutch Shepherd that uh, is figuring out the game of bite work, doesn't quite understand it yet. He knows he's supposed to do things. He just doesn't know exactly what those things are. So we're going to bring him out, give him some reps, and... Um, and we're moving on to the next dog. Dragon, 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 dragon. Dragon, 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 All right, so now we have actually a board and train. The dog's name is Azul. Uh, the goals that they have for him is to get into PSA. So we're going to do some bite work with Azul, kind of feel out the waters and see how he's doing. So we'll go grab him. Just working Azul now. Uh, we got Guy playing the decoy role. Casey with the perfect post up there. Um, Liam, a.k.a. Caleb, take notes. Um, <laughs> so uh, what we're looking for with him is for him to not do that, um, to not let it go. Uh, but we're going to try and work his grips a little bit. Um, in PSA, they like a, a pushing and punching style bite. Um, so that's what we're working on with Mr. Azul. All right, next in we have Jasper. Jasper is going to go on the table, and we're going to try and work on some outs with him. Um, Jasper, again, like I said, he's sold already, so we're just cleaning, finishing some things up for him. Um, but really what we're trying to do is make sure that he has a really reliable verbal out um, because he has not had one uh, so far. Uh, so we're going to work on that and make sure we clean that up before he gets to go uh, and work at his agency. Oh, you can back off now, guy. Good yes. man. That's kind of a wrap for the day. Uh, we've shown you some of the dogs that we were working. Um, a few more. Gonna go, they're going to go through a few more now. Um, but that's kind of a little bit of insight on what happens here at Grassroots Canine uh, when it comes to dealing with the working dogs.